Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial is to help those who are not able to assemble the part given to us in the class that other time. And those who are able to do it, you can use this as just some revisions for yourself. Okay, so let's let's go ahead. So open your open your solid wax and then let's go to assembly part. So go to assembly parts. Click on OK. Okay, so you can use you can use this feature to bring in your, your the parts that you want to work with, or you can cancel it and decide to use for the insert component or to the insert component. So you click on it to bring you here, then you browse. Okay, some some people when they click on it as well, you just bring them to this menu. They are still the same thing. So you want to bring the sides. That's the like two of them. And then the top so let me click on the leg bring my leg here this notification here you just click okay then i want to go to the i want to insert another leg okay then i want to bring my top the old top the transparent top Okay, so you have it here. You have it here. So this is my transparent top. So now let's let's start with the mating. So you want to meet this this three hot, this three part. So so click on your mate tool. Your mate tool is here. Click on it. And then so we'll be mating three surfaces, no two surfaces and one edge. Okay, two surfaces. And one edge okay so with this let's let's select the top surface of the hole the top surface inside this hole the top surface make sure if you are not able to see the top surface you take the thing move it to see the top surface then you select then you select the top surface of what this leg then you make them what coincide then you click on what check then we want to what um You want to come in. You want to add these two surfaces. So this surface here, the surface here, this one, and then this surface. So I'm going to turn it, and then select that surface. So make sure you turn it in well, and then you select the surface you are looking for. So I want this surface. So it's highlighted, and I click on it, and I select. It. So if if you do that, you should get something aligned. So you should make them what coincide. So if they coincide, you see that they coincide like this. Then you click on your check. Now you can see that this this will be able to move in only in this direction. Since since the leg is not fixed, that's why the leg is moving. But you can see that the table top is moving in only one direction. Okay, is the leg that is what? So let's let's make it fixed. So let's select. So let's so now we are going to do the third part. That's the edges. So I want to make what this edge, the edge here, come. So want to make this edge coincide with what this edge here this edge so they should coincide so then you click on what check so if they coincide you should have something like this so now we are going to add this other leg which is the fixed one so select the top surface of this other leg and then select what the top surface inside the hole here of the of the table top the top surface and make them what coincide you should coincide and check okay so you should have something like this now let's let's make let's make this surface and this surface here inside so let's go and then select that surface so you select this inner surface there the one here let's make them coincide so if they coincide then you should have something like this you should have something like this yeah now we are going to do the last part. So we've done two surfaces: the top surface inside the hot, hole and then this other surface. I want to do the edges. So you now go and select your edge. Now go and select your edge. Okay. So let me select this edge here, this edge, and then the other edge here, this one. Make sure you don't make any mistake when selecting the edge. Let me turn it to so that I'm going to select the right edge that I'm looking for. On this one so I make it inside and check so you should have this 
So how that okay now let's go and bring our third part which is what the back so you can cancel your hot needs and then go to what insert component browse and then bring your hot back okay bring your back so you can put it here you come okay okay so the, the first one i want to do is to make the top surface of this bar inside with the top surface inside the hole here and then we'll do it for this other hole too then we'll make one of what one of the side here inside with one of this and the other one then that will work so let's go to our mate we'll go to mate and then select this top surface and now let's go and select the top surface inside this hole okay the top surface inside this hole so these are the top surface make sure you select the top surface okay yeah, so you should have this. So you should have this like this. And click on what? Okay, then you select the top surface again. Select this top surface again. And make it inside with this other one. This other leg. The top surface of this other, the hole inside this other leg. So select this. And then make it inside. Okay. Then you should have something like this. Yeah, nice. Now let's select this side. This surface, this surface, and make it coincide with what the surface here. This surface, make it coincide with this surface. So you can see that we'll be able to move this through like this. And then we'll do the same thing for this other side too. Anything we we'll do for that, like we'll do it for this one. So let's select this surface and then make it coincide with what the inner surface here. So this other one. Then you make it inside. Yeah. You should have this. Okay. Now you see that this yeah, this is not aligned. So to align this, we'll make what the tabletop and the bar hot to coincide. So how would you do that? So go and select the surface of the tabletop, the, the bar, the surface of the bar, and then select this other face too. Select this face here, and then make them coincide, okay. Make them coincide. So if you make them coincide, you see that this surface will not move again. You see that the bar will not be able to move, and your 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 your, hot, your assembly is what fully defined. You see that your assembly is fully defined, and you should have this. So this this is your final product when you assemble all these three all these three parts. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like comments and share.